All right. So to kick you off today, we're going to be talking about pseudocode, um, as everyone is. Um, so pseudocode is basically a simple form of programming language, which means that it's just going to be used as a starting tool. You know, so you can make your program pseudocode, and then then you can you know substitute that into um, into proper like Java. C++ or whatever you want to use and then make the actual program so what my program is today I'm going to be looking at a simple program um, it's going to be a, a, um, there's going to be a survey of people of 20 people and they're going to calculate each and every one uh, everyone's uh, BMI and um, um, so the program will output the percentage of obese people in that survey and also the largest and the smallest BMI. Um, so uh, we're going to move on to what variables may be used. So we're going to have the BMI, of course, it's basically an input number, but for this case we're going to use BMI because you won't want to save it as a number because um, that won't make sense for the scenario. Uh, and then we're going to have count, of course, as a prerequisite to uh, you know uh, keep the amount of people in check. And then we're going to have sum, which I'll tell you later on why we're going to use that. And we'll have percentage in order to calculate the percentage. And um, going back to sum, sum is also going to be used in that calculation. Then we have largest to denote the largest BMI and smallest to denote the smallest BMI, of course. Um, and we, what loops do we have? So we have, for this one, we're going to use for, to, and next, which is a very simple loop, but uh, you know it might get can get tricky at times if you don't word it correctly. Um, and we're going to, and uh, so we're just going to use that because we know we're going to go through the loop. 20 times so that is why I chose to use that because we already know um, and remember it, it always looks like that so it always starts off as I uh, like this 4 count is equals to 1 to 10 or 1 to 20 or whatever uh, but it's always like that um, and uh, so let's get into it so we're going to have six variables and count will always be one because if you set count as zero, then it will go through the loop 21 times. And uh, there's not 21 people, there's 20 people. So we're going to use one. Percentage is zero, sum is zero, BMI is zero, and smallest is going to be 999 for this case. Because um, if, you, if you put smallest as zero, then anything smaller than smallest will be negative value. You can have a negative BMI, and we want to set it as high as possible because nobody really has a BMI of 999, unless you're Godzilla or something. Um, and we have largest, which is zero. Um, then we start off. So four count is equals to one to twenty, which is the starting off. We start off like that, um, and we input the BMI, um, and then we're going to start off the if statement. So, if BMI is more than or equals to thirty, then sum is equal to sum plus one. So we're going to add up all the BMIs in sum, and uh, we're just going to save them there in that variable. Then we're going to end if. And then we're going to check if BMI is greater than large, um, which, and if it is, then BMI is equals to largest. We're going to then check if BMI um, is smaller than smallest, and if it is, then, then BMI is equals to smallest. Uh, and then we're going to go on to next count. Now pay attention, if you have next count, you never put count is equals count plus one before that because that is a waste of lines, not in this uh, kind of loop, you don't do that. And uh, now we're going to go on to 
uh, um, next part of our program of our studio code lines so we're going to go to percentage now that we're out of the loop we're going to percentage so percentage is equals to sum over count now sum is the amount of people who are obese and count is the amount of people who took the survey then we're going to multiply now once we have got that now once we have got the percentage answer it's going to be a fraction now percentage is normally um, you know it's like for example you won't have 0 0.50 as your answer you should have 50 which would then become 50 percent so um, we're going to multiply that by 100 to get the percentage otherwise it will be a decimal and uh, it will make sense really um, and then we're going to output percentage smallest and largest 